All right, guys, this is RC Lifestyle 429. I uh, finally got all the upgrades to the Rampage MT done, and I thought I'd give you all a little look at it before I run it. Uh, stripped down, deanodized the chassis, and had it powder coated blue, so that'd be one of the first things that you can notice there. I've got it on a stand that I've built myself so that I'd have it up off the ground be able to work on it makes working on it a lot easier I put I don't know if y'all can see it but I put access holes in the bottom of the stand for to get to all the screws to where you can work on the truck without ever having to remove it from the stand or flip it upside down it makes it really nice when you're working on it I'll take the lid off here and we'll talk about what all I've done as far as the upgrades Red Cat has a few issues with their servos and I didn't want to run it before I took the time to do some upgrades and everything to where I didn't have issues that other people have had. Alright. When we take the body off we can see uh, it comes as a dual steering servo setup. I opted to take one servo off put a larger battery box so that I could run a 2S LiPo. I'm running a Killer RC's 6000 milliamp 2 cell LiPo in there with the Killer RC Killer B kill switch and I changed to a Walbro WT999 carburetor with a shredder stack so it kind of angles this air filter up which helps it clear the throttle linkage on the other side which if I get over here you can see there how it helps it clear this throttle linkage underneath here you've got plenty of room without it you know being anywhere close right in here went ahead and switched out the uh, steering and throttle servo like I said they've had a few issues with them from the factory with the servos that they have I put a high-tech 79-54 throttle and brake servo and then on the steering it is a high-tech 57-65 see so I did the tank vent mod using the snappy RC uh, there we go, we can get a little better look. Snappy RC fuel line fittings and their grommet that goes in the tank. It's pretty easy, you can just pop out your original grommet, pop that one in. Uh, the fittings that are long, your vent tube and your return tube, those fittings you're going to have to trim down to where they're not too long and into the fuel. I also went ahead and got a uh, blue fuel line to go along with it just to kind of dress it up a little bit. And on the vent tube, I got a Kiriakin uh, billet vent that they have available. It has a ball valve in it, so it's able to, to vent, but then when it flips upside down, the ball blocks it off. I have a pipe for it, and I hadn't got it on there yet. I went ahead and changed the spark plug out. The stock plugs sometimes not all that great, so I went ahead and put an NGK in there. It's been disassembled pretty much completely, and all the bolts and stuff that need to be Loctited, going metal to metal, have been Loctited. But I just thought I'd give y'all a look at it before it gets dirty and gets ran. It's been uh, probably a couple months now. Like I say, I just took my time. I didn't want to just rush out, put fuel in it, and run it, and have a runaway. So if you'll go on uh, Rampage forums, you'll find out, you know, kind of what to expect whenever you buy one, the issues that need to be upgraded. You can take care of those before you ever run and not have a lot of issues. So. 
Here pretty quick, we'll have a running video of it. And that's about it for now.